I'm Colleen Estrino. So right now on your 13 Action News update, some bars in the state will be forced to shut down tonight. The governor's new directive impacts bars and taverns that do not serve food. That includes bars inside casinos, but only in certain counties. The governor says he will make an announcement with more details today, but says Clark County will be included. The CCSD Board of Trustees voted to unanimously move forward with the district's proposed reopening plan. The district's tentative plan includes blended learning with most schools going to school just two days a week and then learning online the other three days. It also includes an online only option. The proposal will now be sent to the state education department for approval on a conditional basis to meet state deadlines. Nevada lawmakers are facing difficult decisions as they try to fill more than a billion dollars in the state budget. The special session will continue this morning and likely into next week. Earlier this week, Governor Sisolak said nothing was off the table when it came to cuts, including education and health care. The director of Health and Human Services says the cuts are going to hurt many Nevadans. Some lawmakers are now calling on the federal government to pass the HEROES Act to help with some of Nevada's financial struggles. It's going to be a quick move through the 90s this morning. Temperatures baking in the triple digits throughout our Friday afternoon. And today should tie the hottest day so far this year at 109 degrees. Officially in Las Vegas, might even hit 110 on the north end of the valley. Our seven-day plan, oh, yeah, a whole lot of warm numbers here. We're at 112 to 113 from Saturday to Sunday to Monday. So an excessive heat warning is in place those three days. Clean it looks like temperatures, even through the middle of next week, probably stay above 105. Thank you so much. And you can always get the latest news at KTV.com, our KTV mobile app, our Roku channel, and the latest version of Apple TV.